Uninstalling and reinstalling the Dodge Cummins PCM should be fairly straightforward, but should you have any questions, our technical support specialists are ready and willing to help. You can reach them at 940-783-9915. Be sure to mention that you have purchased the PCM Unlock, part number 42213. To begin uninstalling the PCM, disconnect both of the negative black wires from your truck's batteries and push them aside to ensure that they will not make contact with the batteries during the uninstall. Locate your truck's PCM. It will be on the driver's side of the engine block above the oil pan. To complete this process, you will need a 10mm open-ended wrench, a 10mm socket, and an 8mm socket. During the removal, ensure that you retain all hardware removed for use when you reinstall your PCM. To begin, remove the two 10mm bolts located towards the rear of the vehicle securing the rear PCM wiring harness connector. Next, remove the two 8mm bolts located towards the front of the vehicle securing the front PCM wiring harness connector. To disconnect the PCM wiring harnesses, you will need to depress the button located directly below the gray release lever. Failure to keep this depressed while lifting the lever could result in damage to your PCM. With the button on the rear wiring harness depressed, lift the lever to release the wiring harness. Pull the plug free and push the harness out of the way. Repeat the same process for the front wiring harness, depressing the release button, pulling the lever, and moving the plug out of the way once it is free. To begin detaching the PCM from the engine, start with the upper rear bolt, removing it using a 10mm open-ended wrench. Next, remove both bottom bolts with a 10mm socket. Finally, remove the front upper bolt, taking care to hold onto the PCM while loosening it so that it doesn't fall when the bolt is removed. With the PCM removed, you're ready to ship it to Bully Dog. When shipping, be sure to protect your truck's computer by encasing it in bubble wrap and packaging it in a durable box. Affix the call tag you received by email. With that done, you're ready to ship your PCM. Upon receiving your PCM from Bully Dog, inspect it for damage before beginning the installation. Begin the installation by ensuring that your PCM is correctly oriented. The blue plug should be toward the front of the vehicle and the green should be to the rear. Using the long bolts reserved during the PCM removal, attach the PCM to your engine. Begin with the front upper bolt, screwing it in using just your fingers. Attach the two lower bolts, again only finger tight. Finally, attach the rear upper bolt. Tighten down all four bolts to secure the PCM in place. While connecting the PCM's wiring harnesses, ensure that the plugs are inserted straight. Failure to do so could damage both connectors. Begin by plugging in the front blue wiring harness. Push the plug straight into the PCM connector and engage the locking lever by pulling down. You will notice an audible click when it is secure. Repeat this process for the rear green connector. The last step in the installation is to secure the wiring harness cables. First, secure the front wiring harness cable using the 8mm bolts. Next, secure the rear harness cable using the final two 10mm bolts. Once those are tightened, your PCM has been reinstalled. Once both of your truck's batteries have been reconnected, the installation is complete.